let's get right on to f**ks given. So we give each film uh, one f**k, two f**k, three f**k, so up, up to five f**ks. And the five f**k is the what? The golden god of f**ks? Yeah, that is, we seriously f**ks with this movie. So how many f**ks do you give this one? I think you know where I'm going with this. I, I, this, this gets the golden god treatment for me. Wait, 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 before, okay, so you give it five. How much do you give due date? Four. What were we even talking about? <laughs> we're talking about if you're going to, re first off, they didn't call it a sequel. They didn't directly say it was affiliated with it. And if the best you can do is that film with Robert Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis, with those, how much respect I have from them, that's the best that it could have been. No one could have ever done that. No one will ever match what it was. That's the close anyone could have came. That's why that's, I mentioned it. That's fair. Okay. Um, I give it four and a half. Uh, it is nearly perfect. I can't give it five because there's just some there's some continuity shit that kind of takes me out of the element because of all of the chopping that went to happen in post to get it down. Um, but the the before the performances, the comedy aspect of it, the um, I mean it's a pretty straightforward story, so there's not much there. But just John Candy and Steve Martin together bouncing off of each other in that perfect and dynamic. that's why i got the golden god treatment not at first i had it at four given one half under the you but then when i read last night as i was doing a deep dive outside of the behind the camera when i read the comment you made earlier that steve martin and john candy said it was their both favorite films working together like like to me it was like okay yeah, because it, it brings across that point. This wasn't a money grab. Like when we talked to Andrew uh, earlier in the episode, mm -hmm. he was saying that who was there for a money grab? Who was there for this? Not just on this, but on Breakfast Club. It's the same thing to me. I'm an actor that, no, don't get me wrong, my bill's got to be paid. But listen, it's all about passion. So it's, what I, it's my craft, man. So to me, that's why I gave it that. But I can see why you, like... Because you're coming at it from, again, remember, you're coming at it from a f fan and a filmmaker's perspective. Just the common fan does not notice those cuts. The common fan has given this five f**ks for 50 f**king years. Mm -hmm. I gave it four, but because of the research I did, it was more so of, okay, I am know I'm being biased, but it gets the Golden God treatment. But I res completely respect what you're saying. All right, so what did you think about the movie? How many f**ks would you give it? Put those middle fingers in the comments and let us know. Find us in all these links that's coming up right now. Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer.